With the relative stability of the price of either as of late, uh, hovering roughly around the 270 to 80 pound mark, I've had the time now after the, the craziness of, of the huge rise that happened about a couple of weeks ago now, I've had time to think about when, if ever, I'm actually going to sell cash in on my crypto gains. I've been thinking about it a lot and I've come up with some kind of plan in place which I thought would be worth just sharing with you because I thought it would be quite interesting and, and a good discussion to be had. And before I even reveal what it is, it's just worth saying that of course this is in my head, this is rational, this is without the emotion that would probably take hold in the event of this happening. If I actually had made the incredible games that I'm, I'm hoping and anticipating for at some point in the future. Uh, this is easy to do hypothetically in the head and it might be more difficult as the time comes and as the price rises even further. And so with all of that being said, I've decided that if slash when the value of my cryptocurrency holdings ever reach the value of about two million pounds or two million dollars, again, haven't decided, at that point, I'm going to cash out or spend or convert into fiat approximately half of my holdings or, or one million. And the reason I would do that is because I just think for anyone at, at any point in their life, if they can ever actually have a million cash uh, to spend on, on a house, their future, whatever, I think they, I think personally, they would be nuts not to just snatch that opportunity whenever they can. Because for me personally, I'm young, I'm 23 and a million would just completely change my life radically. I'd be able to buy a house outright in cash. I could either spend, you know, I live in a cheap part of the UK right now. For me, I live in South Wales. And so you can actually buy a, a decent house for about 100,000. And then you can buy really, really lovely, gorgeous houses for about 300,000 pound and up. I know that in Cardiff, you could buy a nice penthouse flat overlooking the, the sea and, and the city for about that range, for about three, four hundred thousand pounds, and so that's that's life changing right there. So if you had a million and just set aside a hundred to three hundred thousand pounds for a, either a modest or a really nice house, I'd still have a bunch of money to play with, taking aside capital gains taxes. I could buy a bunch of gold or silver, have that precious metal to, to hold on to as a safe haven. I could put some money in traditional index funds in the stock market slightly risky but still over the very long term pretty safe investment and from there i would just be i'd just be good for life which is amazing i mean with with that money i could have some dividends and some money coming in from some of those investments and then that coupled with just what i do now my youtube my freelance i'd be good for life i'd be comfortable and and that's just i'd be nuts not to take up that opportunity right now when as of the current moment I'm making this video, I have virtually all my money in cryptocurrencies, which is just an incredibly risky, volatile investment. In theory, it could potentially go down to zero tomorrow, for all I know, after some horrendous black swan event occurring. So yeah, for me, at two million, I would take out half to be a millionaire, a cash millionaire. That would change my life forever. But then that leaves the question, okay, what do I do with the rest? What do I do with the other half? And what I can say for sure, what I know will happen, regardless of what the price of cryptocurrency will be, is that I'm always going to keep at least half of my money in crypto, not just because philosophically I, I believe in it you know, wholeheartedly. I believe in a system that tries to get away from the central banking, fractional reserve banking, enslavement and debt that we're all trapped in. I want to get away from that system. And aside from that, it's just something that I believe in long term will still be an amazing investment. If someone had, within the next couple of years, a million pound or a million dollars worth of crypto, I think 10, 20, 30 years from now, that's still going to multiply at least tenfold. And so I think I'd be nuts not to still keep a significant proportion of my overall portfolio in crypto. As I alluded to at the start of this video, this is all so much easier said than done. And as the value of my of my portfolio keeps increasing significantly every couple months or even every couple weeks, it's it does get increasingly more difficult. You do look at it and you think, just right now, if I cash it all in right now, the significant impact that would have on my life. And so whether I could actually hold on till that two million dollar or pound worth, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm on the Eth Trader subreddits, and I've seen as of late a lot of people who have just they've just cashed in their ether. They've managed to pay off their student loans, their car debt, their mortgage, and it's already transformed their life. And I 
take off my hat to those people. I think the most significant psychological barrier that I'm gonna face is, again, if and when it ever reached the, the million pound or million dollar mark, that again would still be life-changing. If I cashed that amount and had 500,000 pound cash, uh, taking away capital gains taxes again, that would still be life-changing. Just, just being able to buy a house by itself, that in itself is life-changing when you think that most people spend 25 years of their life just paying that off and all the other interest that's accumulated alongside of it. So yeah, that, that'll be tough. I don't know, I guess I'll see what state we're in at the time. If the crypto market still looks incredibly healthy and hopeful, then I may find be able to find the strength to be able to, to hold on till I guess even more valuable. But if things do look more uncertain, like as with Bitcoin right now, if I had a million pound worth of Bitcoin at this moment before all this scaling controversy happens on August the 1st, I might be tempted to just ca cash out a good half of that just so I never have to kick myself thinking you know, if it all came crumbling down. I could have had a life-changing money amount of money that I could have cashed out on and didn't, mainly because of greed, I guess. So those are my overall thoughts, overall plan for now. Wait until it gets two million worth and then cash out the first half, investing in a, in a traditional diversified portfolio of property, precious metals, stocks, just cash. It'd be nice to just have a bit of cash to be able to play with and, and buy nice things with because I, I can't remember the last time I, I treated myself to clothes. It's been a long time since I went on any kind of holiday. Just those nice basic privileges in life. And then with that other half, I know that for sure I'm always going to keep it in crypto because I believe in it and, and I love it. I've shared what I would do, my exit plan. Now I'd like to know what you think. What kind of target have you set for yourself about what point you would cash in? And would you trade everything? Would you cash in all your crypto? Or would you be like me and only perhaps cash half of it, maybe even less, maybe a bit more? I'd really love to hear what you think. And especially from those people who've been incredibly early on and who've already made a significant amount of money. I, I'd love to hear your input on this. And I'd also be interested to hear if some of you think I'm a sellout for wanting to get rid of, of any of my crypto. If I believe in this as much as I say I do, then some of you might think I'm betraying this movement, betraying this technology by not just keeping all of my value in crypto until the point where you could buy a house or buy a car with Bitcoin or with Ethereum or something else. All thoughts on this are absolutely welcome. I'm desperate to hear what you think about this. It's something that I think about constantly at this point. And as always, I'm just gonna keep, you know, no matter what, no matter how rich I ever got, I would still just keep making videos because it's what I love. And so if you wanna see more from me in the future, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and I'll be back with plenty more videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Cheers.